Hi everybody, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. In this segment, I'm gonna talk about an issue that we ran into with installing the base cabinets. So in the prior segment, I talked about installing the uppers and lowers, and when we came to dry fit the, the lowers, we ran into some issues. So meanwhile, while we're working um, on some ideas, tossing some things around regarding how to fix that um, issue with the base cabinet, the HVAC stopped working, the air conditioner stopped cooling. So we were like stuck on like 78 degrees, which, which was not bad for this last week of May, but um, we knew that the temperatures were gonna increase because you know, hey, the, the, this is June, this is June. So um, we had the HVAC mechanic come out to the house and you know he he i'm gonna tell you everyone has ever looked at this unit they don't even try to troubleshoot they just say oh no it's old <laughs> you need to replace it but i have had one or two in the years that have been able to fix it and keep it moving so this is the original the foundation of this unit is the original to this house there are certain little parts that have been replaced throughout the years but the foundation is the original so we had to make the decision to replace this unit and so my amazing project manager went right into uh, what he does best and that's why um, go ahead and running lines for a new system so you know while we're running lines for the new system you know he suggested that I go ahead and run lines for everything that I thought that I would upgrade in the future. And so that's what we did. So there are lines wired for an electric uh, hot water heater, lines wired for an electric fireplace, uh, lines wired for a gas range, um, and so forth. So we kind of took a break from the cabinets so that we can, you know, he can, uh, get these um, the electricals in place so that when the unit came in and the HVAC contractor was ready to install, he can go ahead and do his work. Um, so yeah, th this was something that I knew I had to do, upgrading this unit. I knew that it was gonna cost a pretty penny, but you know, I have this motto, if it works, <laughs> Let's, let's, let's stick with it, okay? <laughs> but um, nonetheless, the uh, old unit had to be taken out and this room had to be thoroughly cleaned and sanit sanitized because it was disgusting. Um, and uh, so yeah, that, that took some time. So we're looking at maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks of downtime from working in the kitchen due to you know having to install the electrical and and then um the hvac contractor doing his thing but you know let me tell you something when that unit was installed and it was on the day of testing the day of getting everything online it was like a joy. It sounded like a commercial space. It's so smooth and quiet. It's so freezing cold. <laughs> the air is so crisp. And I'll talk about this unit in, in an, another segment because there are some huge pros for upgrading your HVAC systems, really upgrading all of your electricals to energy smart, um, uh, energy smart um, having energy smart features so I'm super excited all right so we're gonna get back to tackling this corner cabinet issue um, in the next segment so please stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one